But here is iPhone 16. All they added was this button here. This is the iPhone. Apple iPhone is the first to achieve that success. Hello my wonderful viewers, welcome back to my channel, Agapin TV, still your favorite TV, we are glad to have you here today. So guys, if this is your first time coming to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and do well to share our videos. Okay guys, in the edition of today's video, we are here with the highly esteemed man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris and Prophet Ubeit Angel guys this is an information you wouldn't want to miss out from this man of god will be talking about um, the agenda of the iphone producers and some car models i bet you you would want to listen to this because it is very helpful and needed okay guys stay tuned and like i said earlier if this is your first time coming to my channel hit the subscribe button comment and share our videos thank you and Your warfare first yes, now they are building smart cities so that you don't come out when they don't know it mm. when you saw elon musk starting his company what were you thinking uh. hmm. when tesla started what were you thinking he was doing and maybe i i look at things as a prophet in a different way but you see there is model s all right mm -hmm. then of course there is model three then there is model x then there is model model y you can read it it's sexy wow <laughs> I'm trying to say, I'm not saying it has nothing, this has nothing to do with the Antichrist. Mm. But I'm just saying, think. Mm. It's not illegal yet, but they're working on it. Yeah. Mm. Let's mm. Go. So you see the signs you don't want. The Bible says it this way. You can look at the weather and say there is a cloud. Mm. It's about to rain. Mm. But yet you don't know the times. Mm. Mm. that means you have started some few things that are natural but the spiritual you are still blind mm. to the person that is being used I'm by no means saying it's being used by the devil I'm simply saying technology is where we were going already mm. Mm. but while we were going there another problem came in mm. 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 while we were developing these technologies mm. we are also seeing that the platform is set for what the devil will use mm. it becomes so easy to use Put it up, mm. let's see. I want to read that. Matthew 16, 3. In the morning, it will be fall weather today. For the sky is red. Verse number one. The Pharisees also with the Sadducees came and tempting desired him that he would show them a sign from heaven. Mm. Mm -hmm. He answered and said unto them, When it is evening, ye say, it will be fair weather. For the sky is red. <laughs> And in the morning it will be fall weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites, you can descend the face of the sky, but can ye not descend the signs of the times? Mm. He says you are a hypocrite if you can't descend the signs of the times. Mm. So Elon Musk is part and parcel of the signs of the end time. Mm. Doesn't mean to say he's the antichrist or the beast or anything. Yeah. But I can look at it and say, wait a minute, where, where is he going with this? Mm. Wow. Not so many people don't understand that when Tesla was started, you see, this Tesla thing started. Do you realize that Elon Musk start, did not start Tesla? Mm. Mm. The owner is nowhere to be found now. Right. Mm. He's trying to study some other companies to make money. Mm. This guy just bought it. Mm. Mm. He started a company. Of course, that you already know and use called PayPal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. From there, he then used that money for Tesla. Mm. Mm. Now, notice, if you've ever had the chance to drive one of these cars, you realize that after four years of having it there, they can change and update the software from the office. Right. Mm. Right. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so that means Tesla is not a car company. It's a software company. Mm. And if you understood what I said last week, that we are in a matrix. Mm. We are in a software. In a software, mm. yeah. And we're getting updates every time. 
Now here's another thing they try to do. It says, finally, unable to resolve competing visions of world order and geopolitical interests, a proxy war draws two of the great powers into major conventional conflicts. Look at these guys. This is the plan. I'm, I'm reading straight from the material. The nuclear taboo is respected. But despite dragging in a number of third party allies, both sides fail to gain an advantage, achieving only mutual exhaustion. Do you see that? It's all about getting them exhausted until they accept their own the idea that the WF wants to give. As an uneasy peace emerges, people's minds return to the question of what kinds of norms and structures are needed to govern international relations. Eager to restore global trade, private sector institutions take the lead, focusing on modest rules to govern peaceful use of the global commons. Leadership positions in these new bodies are taken not by civil servants, but by double-hearted industry and civil society leaders. Interesting. So, remember what Klaus Schwab said. He envisages by 2030 where there will be no more elections. So how are they going to have the leaders? Oh, he told them, says, people in this room, No elections. So the people should come from the WEF. Because of this plan that I just read to you. The urgency of restoring the world's economic health makes trade and investment relations a priority. And the social of uh, yeah, the social or values agenda, such as universal human rights, takes a back seat. Did you hear that? So nobody will be talking about human rights anymore. The human rights issue takes a back seat. Indeed, the notion of a universal set of values to which all people should aspire is abandoned as a paradigm of world order. A considerable amount of inequality emerges but it's broadly accepted as the price of peace. See that? So they expect that with all the trouble they bring to the world, the people will want peace anyway, anyway. Just give me peace. So number one, dispossession of property, including private cars. Now, uh, in the mid-70s, Bogota, the capital city of Colombia, did something uh, where they had car free car free days car free routes so now they want to do the same thing in fact there's a movement uh, cyclovia cyclova movement and what do they do they, they campaign for open streets. So they want car free routes on, on, on Sundays and public holidays. So no cars. So now these people are recommending and they say that the best form of transportation is walking. And that it is good for your health. And therefore no more private cars. That the roads were made for humans, not for cars. Are these people okay? That's their argument. And it's really... And <laughs> ah, you're not getting this. Come on. See? We are getting it, sir. I'm a saga for things like iPhones. Mm. You know, I am very loyal to their brand. <laughs> but here is iPhone 16. All they added was this button here. <laughs> and yet I bought it. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. Now, now imagine. There's one button. Hmm. 
That's the addition. If they produce 17 tomorrow, I buy again. Mm. This is me. Mm. They produce 19. I'll still have the skills. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how many buttons are they going to put on 17 now? Mm. Mm -hmm. You understand why? Because these things cannot change anymore. Mm -hmm. It's the software inside. Mm -hmm. Even if you had a 15, you just update that one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I was 18 or something. Mm -hmm. Yes. And boom, you just act like you have the same thing. Mm -hmm. The hardware part of it. Tesla started reversing, started doing this. Cameras that were there that were just dormant. They activated them on other, on other modules from the office. Mm. 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 I want to show you something so that we 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 close fast. Show us now. Yeah. Let's go. Now, are you there? Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, so the company that, uh, of course, Elon Musk started, um, which is now making waves now, is they are putting chips in people's heads. Yes. So by simply thinking. To do a task, it performs a task. Your computer will listen to you. You can even order a pizza using your brain. Hey. Not speaking. Imagine talking like this, just here and someone is there. Boom. And technology is doing exactly what it needs to do. Hmm. Why is that important and why is that dangerous? Hmm. Because the enemy can still use it. Hmm. Okay. Imagine this AI you hear of. You like it as technology, mm -hmm. but it's more dangerous than chemical weapon. More dangerous mm -hmm. than biological warfare. Mm -hmm. They are in to control events. Event. Hear this. Because 24 hour surveillance from your phone and the nano chip implants. Okay, now let me read something to you here because this is quite interesting. So called digital phenotyping. All right, digital phenotyping uses both passively collected data, voice analysis, cognitive indicators, and self reporting from smartphones. And it will yield these predictions and monitoring capabilities. Now, they're going to start out with mental health, that they, they need to monitor people that have mental health. Well, if you can monitor somebody with mental health, how much further does it go? So, your phone, according to this discussion, digital phenotyping, your phone would be able to recognize your movements, in who you are and your your behavior you touch it any which way it picks the information about you your phone your phone will then tell you that you're not feeling well today and then your phone will send a message to the authorities to tell them you are not okay today and tell you who to report to immediately because if you don't report to the places asking you to go to they're going to come for you digital phenotyping and and the first to achieve that success is is the iphone apple iphone is the first to achieve that success well it can monitor you very well and then finally my dearest family i wanted you to notice that these men of god are not against um elon musk okay i need you to understand that in fact i'd like you to listen to the words of the man of god reverend dr chris what he said about elon musk and why we must support him 
okay now there's difference between what elon Musk is doing and what these globalists are trying to achieve uh, with their evil plans so just kindly listen to these guys all right and i'll be right back the the founder of the telegram platform social media platform they got him arrested they are not trying to go after Durov. I think his name is Pavel Durov. No, they're not after Telegram and Pavel Durov. They're after X and Elon Musk. That's what it's about. So what they're just trying to do is to get a conviction for the purpose of using it. against X and Elon Musk. So they're just going around. They're just going around. It's a deception. Because they don't want... You know, X right now is the only platform in the world where you can actually say what you want. Without some people thinking that they've got power, um, they are wiser than you. And they're going to decide what you're allowed to say and what you're not allowed to say. You know, I mean, we've got King's Chat, for example, but you're not allowed to say whatever you want to say on King's Chat. It's not free for everybody. You can, you, yeah, it's not, it's not open to say whatever you like to say. So King's Chat is not for free speech. You can say some things on King's chat and they're, they're going to take you out. That's for sure. But the only platform in the world for free speech. So that's, that's, that's the champion. I would say is the last bastion of free speech in the world. And they want to stop it. They should not be allowed to stop it. They should not be allowed to stop it. And the foolishness in Brazil right now should be stopped. We cannot allow a few people to decide that they know how we should live. All they have to remember is history. There have been dictators like them before. They may have gone on for long, but not forever. Their day came. And the day will come for today's practicing dictators.